This segment brought to you by Kansas Regenerative Medicine. Your stem cells, your health, your life. We're back, and I'm still on the stairway. <laughs> teetering on the brink. That's us, teetering on the brink. That'll be our new slogan. <laughs> bumper stickers. You want a bumper sticker around Kansas? Teetering on the brink. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. So I got to do a really fun event a couple of weeks ago. I went on Lewis and Clark. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, bus yeah. tour. I got to, um, along with my friend Terry Hobbs, we co-hosted a bus tour for the Lewis and Clark Conference that was in Kansas City this year. And the Lewis and Clark um, folks meet all over the nation, you know, any of the Lewis and Clark sites. And of course, Lewis and Clark started their epic journey in St. Louis and came up the Missouri. But now there is a um, drive underway to include the eastern points, like Monticello, Jefferson's home, and, you know, just tell the entire story. But one of the places that Lewis and Clark camped in Kansas, or what would become Kansas eventually, is Call Point. They're at the confluence of the Kansas and Missouri rivers. And so today we're going to visit Caw Point. Have you been there, Frank? Mm -hmm. Isn't it beautiful? It's fantastic, yes it is. It's just a stunning sight and what they've done with it is really remarkable. So let's take a look. The Lewis and Clark expedition arrived at Caw Point, the confluence of the Kansas and Missouri rivers on June 26, 1804. The expedition camped for three days to rest, repair their boats, and explore the surrounding countryside. They had been traveling up the Missouri almost two months. On the day the explorers first saw the Kansas River, Clark wrote that they encountered a great number of parrot queets, a bird now extinct. The explorers also saw their first buffalo. Caw Point is now surrounded by industry and development. In 2001, the point itself still existed in an overgrown and neglected state. Volunteers began the process of building and improving the park in preparation for the bicentennial commemorative event held in June of 2004. The Wyandotte County Lewis and Clark Task Force, in partnership with the state of Kansas, Unified Government, Local Convention, Visitors Bureau, various community organizations, and private funders worked together to improve the site. Donations from local businesses and literally thousands of volunteers provided site cleanup, trail enhancement, infrastructure restoration, signage, historical interpretation, and visitor support services for the bicentennial events. Since 2004, a renewed effort by the newly organized Friends of Caw Point has resulted in significant improvements and additions to this legacy project. Today it is located in the center of metropolitan Kansas City with a great view of downtown, but the point itself remains in a natural state with beautiful wooded trails, wildflowers, and wildlife. This accessible park has an infrastructure to support a large number of visitors and has an outdoor amphitheater equipped with electricity for performing arts and special events. Uh -huh. 